Welcome back to Project Zomboid. It's Ron here, and we are kicking off in a panicked, hungry state. It's not ideal, not at all. So between episodes, I haven't really done much. We've emptied a bottle of water, which is never ideal. Um, read a whole bunch of books, so we've got carpentry, cooking, and trapping all maxed out now, which is wonderful. Not the skill, just the book finished, and. Yeah, I think we're uh, we're almost ready to go out into the real world. So we're currently on day four, I believe. Just under day four. I think I kind of want to stick to this area until day five. So day five is peak population. So all the Zeds that are going to respawn should respawn. Which means heading on from here on out should be... Well, it'll be pretty tough. It'd be very tough. So we're high population, completely maxed out already. It's not going to be pretty, but at least we won't get the ridiculous, you know, clear out an area, go outside and it's full again, just because they've respawned in stupid rates overnight. So it should be fairly straightforward, which, yeah, that's kind of what I'm here for. So I think what I'm going to do today is probably head back up to that truck we saw. Ah, oh, I still need the screwdriver, don't I? Yeah, that was why. That was why we held out. We've got a little bit of a rough start to get into, which, yeah, classic. I'm not expecting any different by this point, if I'm completely honest. We have got a little crawler down there, too. I'm surprised to see him. Nope. Not playing your game, boy. Nice. Ooh, tomato seeds. They will definitely come in handy. Even if I've got to dig it out by hand. Now that is a nice sight. Ah, that's not. Neither is that butter knife in your leg. Just bring me a screwdriver game. <laughs> that's all I want. Tasty. Alright, ooh. We're getting a lot of annotated maps today. Alright, first one's first. Louisville. Nice. School. Creepy Janet's truck should be here. Now that, that should be handy. I'm on the fence driving out. I know where this is too. Yeah, we were staying up here, weren't we? Um, no, we were a little bit out. I remember coming here though. Like, ah, oh, our last overgrowth run. Yeah, we're... Uh, this is sort of central, say we spawned in this area, pushed our way up through here, made it here. Yeah, that's doable. That one's definitely doable. I'm going to save that. That's going to be quest one. Ugh, classic. Oh, man. <laughs> the oldest trick in the book. Left my old tools here. Won't need them anymore. As tempting as that would be. I'm not ready for March Ridge. Not today, not ever. Okay, hopefully, we do have a denim shirt. Hopefully, outside isn't too bad. Uh, that does not look fun. I wonder if I can hop the back corner fence. That does sound fun. Ah, maybe not. Let's head straight out the back door, maybe. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do one quick clearance in here. Get us back to square one. Well, sort of just back to where we left off yesterday, pretty much. And then... I think the shed next to the convenience store could potentially have our dream tool in there, the screwdriver. And then we can finally go and set up that car. All I need out of it is the battery, that's it. Nothing else. So if I can trade that battery over, we'll be we'll be sweet. We'll be able to drive for, uh, do know, about three minutes, I reckon, before the thing just dies. But it'll be three minutes of pure bliss and happiness. But yeah, I reckon, clear this out, get us back to the normal state, and I'll see you guys from there. Now that is a tasty sight. Barricades no more. When the crowbar's in town, beautiful. Oh man. What a win. What a win. We did break the hunting knife though, which does suck. So that crowbar's probably going to become our new best friend. 
So that's going to be going to be Spear Central from here on out, and I am ready for it. So ready. Anyway, straight back to it. We've got a hand fork. Probably don't need it. I'm still a little bit tempted anyway. Yeah, that uh, short blade could come in handy. Anyway, moving swiftly on. We gained a jacket and a whole lot of dead zeds. Yeah, it was a it was a busy one to say the least. But it looks fairly quiet out here now. I think most of the zeds either you know succumb to our shout, which yeah, not ideal. <laughs> Last thing you expect when typing quest is to press the letter Q, believe it or not. Or they uh, got lulled in by the shotgun noises and went to get their next meal, which luckily enough wasn't us. So we're in, we're in high spirits, we're in good shape. We're hungry, we're slightly overloaded, but at least we're not dead. We've got no bites, no scratches, no uh, close calls, nothing. We're just just surviving and it's nice it's really nice I think this is going to be the next house we're going to push through you know, clear out the bl broken glass we'll do do our bit basically make sure we're safe so I don't want to go well it's a damn good thing I did but yeah we're getting there our short blunt's getting there our blade skill's getting there uh, come on nice we're still getting very panicked in the slightest thing. <laughs> Story of my life. And there's a lot of Zeds inside this place. Ah oh, no, it's multiple Zeds banging from every point. Nope. Not today, sister. That barbecue's nice though. We could get some cooked rats if we find some. Come on, my dear. Give me a free shot. Thank you very much. And two for two. Beautiful. Right, looks like we got a free pass from those guys as well. Although, I would quite like the barricades. So I don't think I ever got the saw from the back of that truck. So, yeah, if I can maybe unbarricade some houses and get our spears that way. There you go, fella. That'll do nicely. And we could also just rebarricade. Ah, no, we can't. We don't have a hammer. <laughs> that puts a slight spatter in the works. I'll take you, take the bandage. Plunger, we're going to avoid this time. Oh, you little beauty. Dream come true. A fedora? No way. Nice brand new leather jacket. We can sack off that old one. Yeah, it looks way better in brown, doesn't it? I wish it was black, but I think browny kind of suits. Any more food? I'd be very surprised if there is. After that tasty find. Oh, there's a double... Double can opener. Come on. Ah oh, man. Oh, there's another one coming in the front door too. Damn good thing we bolted. Yeah, trick to this game is knowing when to run. I'd love to say as soon as you nail that you'll be fine, but you won't. You'll just make different mistakes instead. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Come on. Nice. Come on, Stampy. Oh, man. Double down. There we go. Get her in the end. And last but not least, oh, Peach Jumper. It's actually really nice. I like that colour. <laughs> Zombie Apocalypse, and we're checking out people's clothing. Nice. I would like to get in here and maybe rest up if I can. If it's not infested that is uh, so far so good oh, not fully carpentry free mechanics one pride and prejudice 
Carpentry free would be nice. Also not completely necessary. We'd we'll definitely put it on the map though. A very quick rest. Um, do you know what? I'll probably just come back for it. Right now, let's make this home. There we go. I wonder how this works. Oh, cool. We can actually just click and drag. Nice. Could make mapping a little bit easier. Alright, let's grab this and probably get out of it. Take a pencil. wonder if we can use the eraser on it. Be cool if we could, actually. Might just unbarricade this one as well. Just whilst we got a second or two. Doesn't take too long. Alright, now I'm definitely gonna have to head straight home. So let's do that. Could have sworn I had someone follow me in. Now I'm on high alert. <laughs> Terrifying. Alright, let's grab these two. Craft up some spears. Get ourselves ready to do some spear combat. Man, I've missed it so much. I love spears. As dangerous as they are, they're also incredibly fun and incredibly heavy. Uh, it feels like these have gone up. Nice. Alright, we need to clear out. I think what I'm going to do is probably spend the rest of the day here. Yeah, it's quite early, but we're starting to get exhausted and a bit overweight already. I don't really want to push my luck. I also don't want any alarms on. <laughs> it's probably not the best idea. Cool. Alright, I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day here, um, just get myself sorted, maybe read a book, sort some things out, have some tasty evaporated milk, and yeah, just get settled, basically. Sort out things that need to be sorted, but yeah, I'll uh, crack on, get our day sorted, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Ferris tin is being opened. I'm so ready to drop absolutely no hunger at all. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alright, we are officially... Ah, alright. We are officially... Five days in. There we go. Need that split second. Five days in, which means the respawns have stopped. Which means the future is now. I'm so ready for no more respawns. And stupid amounts of Zeds. Shotguns. And just greatness. Ooh, I did get followed then. It's not by who I expected. I didn't expect it to be this late that they found me. Grand. Well, I guess we're not doing spears yet. Spears can probably wait for a very long time. So we've got a lot of maintenance and a lot of carpentry skill to go before we can actually bother even using them. So carpent carpentry skill plays a huge role in boosting spears, just so you know. If you're making terrible spears, just hold out. Save all that wood you've got stockpiled, get yourself decent carpentry skill, and go back in for round two, because they're honestly game changer. Even like level level two is good enough. And level 10 is way better, of course, but beggars can't be choosers, especially early days, especially when you can't even find an axe or a hammer. on. Can we get you down? And dead before they get close. Nice. A little stompy stomp and a little stompy stomp. You can also have our dead spear. Can't wait to see those 4 XP points. Oh, you know what? That's actually done a decent sized jump. Almost 5. Nice. Moving up in the world. Alright, since we've got a clear now, I can hopefully finally get into the convenience store. Which is wonderful. It's only taken us five days to get in there of pure just hack and slash, constant grinding on it. But we're in. We're finally, finally in. We've finally got that lead pipe I've been eyeing up for days. 
Any more for any more? Nah. You're not unlocked either. That's kind of annoying. Do you know what? I'll leave that in there. What happened to the toolbox? That's what happened to it. Where did that go? Is it around the back? There we go. A large bolt. It's like a nail, but much bigger. I can see that. Clever. Oh good. Horrendous. Which means it probably won't miss a window. The Zeds, however, may love a broken window. Can't please have a screwdriver, man. Leather gloves. That'll do. I'll take it over the screwdriver. And the lighter. Is that all you got? Yeah. No stress. I broke the wrong window as well. They're still so used to just driving on the right. It's the only problem with this game. You know, not being American. And playing this game. Wow. Not being anywhere in the world other than the UK. Maybe Australia. Might be wrong. There we go. Just did not want to hit anyone, did he? Alright, can we can we go sneaky sneaky and get ourselves in without being spotted? Hope so. Couple bags of chips, I'll take it. I'll help that weight gain. Pasta. Pasta la vista baby. Flour. Nice. Actually a decent little shop so far. Couple cans of pop. No tubs of ice cream. I mean, it'd all be rotten anyway. It's the saddest thing ever, but it is what it is. And looks like all. Cool. I've got to be speedy. Gotta be speedy. One that I spotted, and he hasn't quite spotted us. Nice. Okay, let's just dump you guys in there for now. Yeah, that's a nice, nice accessible spot for us to get back to. And those two, I think. Need some quick gummy bears for now. Hopefully they just fix us up enough. Nah, not at all. So I want to get into that shed. Probably going to have to get a few Zeds working on it for us. Oh. Nah. It's hopeful. Just didn't quite manage it. Unless it's unlocked. Nah. Come on Zeds. What's that? Is that a knife or a... Ah. A fork, not a screwdriver. One can dream. All right, are they hacking on the door? Yeah, nice. Cool, 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 cool. All we've got to do is clear these heads out and hopefully straight shot in. Easy peasy. You just got to keep them busy. Come on, fellas. That panic needs to go down and we need to get on the ball. Oh man, we really need to get on the ball. <laughs> Terrifying. Maintenance. Nice. Alright, I'm going to take these guys out. Take for a stroll and then pick them off as we go. Best way to get her done. They actually weren't so bad. I'm hoping. Ooh, another Louisville map. Nice. That's one that I could actually really use quite early on, which is handy. So I'm hoping our Zeds have done our job for us. Because, yeah, I don't really have the facilities to get in there. Don't think our little lead pipe or metal bar is going to break through that door anytime soon. Ah, come on fellas. Gotta do better than that. Let's hoping that's a screwdriver, but it's not. Another heavy duty battery. These are extremely common. Don't really know what's going on, but I'm not going to question it. Not for a second. Risky game, but screw it. Ah, they're still attacking. Nice. So 
thought they were going to come flocking over. West Point map. Maybe don't bother taking that, but we will have the eraser. You know, just whilst we're here. There's no harm in having a peek. Ah, nothing. Ah, the bet battery is out the front, but in the boot. Funky. This is missing the window already. Thank you, sir. Last but not least, check the final car. Louisville map. Oh, we've already got. Still. Can't scoff at it. Ah, nice. Definitely can't scoff at that. Just needs a battery. Empty bottle, tire pump, all the good stuff really. We might just have to go and break that door in ourselves. <gasps> Did you see that? I think that's it. Oh, there we go. You little beauty. Oh man, that's like a dream come true. We finally got a screwdriver. Finally, after all this time, got ourselves a screwdriver. And there's some gas in there. Could always... Yeah, we could fill up at least one of our empty bowls. I wonder if these are reusable after that. Guess there's only one way to find out. You can't drink it, that's always a good sign. Bottle of gas. Wonder if they're heavy, 0 0.8. They're heavy in a normal water bottle. Nice. Beautiful. Wait, what's that? Just a car. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm probably gonna break this door down myself, I think. I'm just a bit too impatient, that's all. It's awful. I feel like I've been doing this forever. Feels like it's never gonna break. Come on, door. You got this. I'm starting to think that this is maybe a very pointless exercise. We're never gonna get in. I'll wait till 20 past. And then we'll stop. One more swing for the road. Five, four, three, two, one. One for luck? Nah, we're not getting in there. We're having an attempt, I guess. Eh, not really. <laughs> it's a big old waste of time. Alright, I want to make sure that we can actually remove a battery with a screwdriver. So I can't remember if it's a screwdriver or a wrench you need, but I'm 99% sure it's a screwdriver. Um, battery. And the still screwdriver. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Is there a chair in here? There's not, but there is a house. Sort of on the way. I just can't remember how overrun it is. You know what, no. No, no, no. We'll do the smart thing. Let's head back down here. Get ourselves in a nice cosy bedroom. Rest up. And then we'll move. Yeah, we can also refill our water while we're here. The water is completely off along with electric, but still got the last little bits. Yeah, electric is off. <laughs> it's just making sure. Hopefully that should knock us back down to just hungry. Might have two. <laughs> Didn't realise they were uh, not point three weight. It used to be like point one, maybe point two. And right, now we're going to head back to our truck. It's not too far, but it's far enough that it could be dangerous. So I'm kind of not ready. Not ready 
even though that's going to bring a lot of zeds with it as well. Kind of not ready for that at all. But, should make a good gate to our base. Ah, honestly, I see cigarettes every time and it's like, I need to take it. But I'm not a smoker this time, so we don't actually need them and it's wonderful. Oh, it's so close to level 2 short blunt. So much going on today, I love it. Uh, can we get a sneaker? We can. Ah, didn't take him down though. Hey, there we go. One time it's actually worked out for us. One big swing. One more big swing. Beautiful. Annotated map. New quest. Alright, we'll check that when we get home, just in case I do a silly and press Q. And we're back to square one again. There's way too many Zeds down here to go doing stupid things like that. Come on, fellas. There's a stomp. Oh, there's a lot of Zeds. Alright, we might have to cheese this a little bit. Ah, but where? Well, you can be cheese one. We're not cheesing this today. This is gonna get messy. Let's just take a bait of block here, let's pull back a tiny bit and yeah, sort of recoup. Sort ourselves out. Um that's a lot of zeds and we've got a broken pipe. Oh, thank god we grabbed the lead pipe. It's starting to panic. Thought we we're gonna have to use our nightstick. So I quite like saving those for a rainy day. They're way stronger than the rest, so yeah, better to hold on to them. Hey, nice, there we go. I think I might maybe pull them into our base. Even better, the door. Let's go to the door. We're going to take tons of them there, and they can all just crack on and fight their way through it, and we're in. We've got quite a few. I don't know how many, but there's a few. Hopefully this entire group. Ah, uh, maybe one or two. Yeah, two. Literally just two. Come on, feathers. You're not enough. <laughs> Take them back round for round two. We're also getting tired too, so I don't wanna don't wanna push my luck too much really. Ooh, that could actually be a perfect little cluster. But anyway, they didn't all just form up and wander their own way. Come on, fellas. Group up. Get yourselves on it. Right, that's two. At the very least. I think what I might do is head home, get some sleep, spend the night. Hey, nice. Straight through. We were probably like four hits away. And I just sacked it off. Crafty. Classic me, that is. Ooh. We got another screwdriver. Right when we don't need it. Do you know what? It's a, it's a token effort. I'll give him that. <laughs> Better late than never, as they say. Um, I will actually take it. Might come in handy as a short blunt at some point. Short blade, sorry. Alright, what have you got for us, room? Don't think I'm ready. Rope, plank, gas can, chain, metal pipe, wasteland warrior, mix salvage spear, mix scrap spear. Actually, not bad. Industrial propane tank, wonderful. Metal cutter, used to cut metal sheets. Sharpening blades. I wonder. No, we don't have anything on us. Cut metal into wire. And what can we use wire for? Oh man, I've got so much to learn. Oh, these, these mods are going to be wonderful. I'm so excited for them. Also going to use you. Don't know what we can use that chain for, but it's going to come in handy somewhere. And this is going to come in handy right now. Alright, let's get rid of you. There was a screwdriver in there as well, which is always nice. Probably put that back. 
So I don't wanna don't wanna go pushing my luck just yet. Let's siphon as much of this out as possible. Maybe pour all of our bottles of gasoline into the uh into the big can of gasoline because that makes the most sense. We might not instantly get cancer from uh from when we need to fill these up with water. Which would be ideal, really. I can't actually Well, I guess we're just taking them all. Nice. Should we go get the truck? No, I reckon we make that tomorrow's job. For now, I think I'm gonna head home and call it a day. Maybe. I think these guys might have just thrown a spanner in the works. Ain't hey, nice. Surprise that works. Nice. Let's get straight in the back door and get some sleep. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you just here, I think. We're tired, we're exhausted. It's not worth fighting, but yeah. I'm gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. Massive thanks to the members supporting the channel. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully, stick around for the next one. Peace.